don't know what that thing is. But in being efficient, being trained for being mechanical, for being a robot, you you may be earning a lot of money because you're really all you're thinking about production whether you're self-employed or you're working for somebody else it doesn't matter your all focus and attention is to produce so you can be you you may become very wealthy you become very powerful you're very prestigious you're very respectful you're very successful in becoming a real estate tycoon or your business owner multiple businesses or whatever you're doing you'll be very successful at it but you lose yourself in this process and you're not touch with your own self everything is about production everything is about being efficient everything becomes about being robotic and not feeling just doing and doing <clears throat> so if you do look at a lot of people and you look around yourself you don't need to go too far away just look around yourself and where there is no awareness but there is efficiency and yes you're successful and all of those things but in reality it's all worthless you have gone through life and you have accumulated things but you have not experienced and explored your spirituality you are respectful you're successful you got prestige but all of it is a waste of time maybe people put you on a pedestal and worship you but you're empty inside because awareness is not there you're big and bad and scary but inside you is empty so you have wasted your life you have wasted a precious opportunity of self-realization to self-accumulation and you can see it around the world and some of you are expecting fairness decency you're angry about the world you're angry the way it's going the way it's destroying its resources the way human beings destroying our nature cutting down on the trees destroying good water rivers slaughtering millions of animals bringing them into slavery 
destroying the soil, destroying the air, putting a hole into the atmosphere. And then you're upset that there is no furnace. Well, how do you expect fairness and decency on a planet of sleepy people? How can you expect such a thing on a planet that the majority of its population is robots? That's not a smart expectation. You can't expect them to be fair because they're machines. They're not human beings. They look like human beings, but they're not. Their mission is to be efficient, to consume, to destroy, to take over, to conquer. Not about preserving or expanding or sharing or caring. It's oriented towards gain at all cost because awareness is not there. Now, do you know how many people, do you have an idea how many people have lived on this planet before you? Billions of billions of human beings have come and go on this planet before you come. These before you were born. A lot of these people were successful, very known at their time, very prestigious at their time highly respected at their time. But you don't remember, you don't know any of their names. In the moment, in their era, they were very, very known for their accomplishments, for their success, for their wealth, for their power but you don't know their names. They're just like where, like these bubbles, soap bubbles. You know, you wash your hands with the soap, you put the soap away and there's a bubble on it. And then 10 seconds after the bubble burst open and it's finished and it's never there, never been there. Only a few people <clears throat> who died and however they continue living on today. Maybe this person died 2,000 years ago, but this person is still alive today. And you know their names. You have heard their names. People like the Buddha, Christ, Rumi, Kabir, Latsu. These are the people who expanded their awareness. They were in con con concerned about being successful and being efficient. That wasn't their goal, to be efficient 